seriously? Hello, this is Larry. I am not available. Yeah. This is great. Just great. Come on, Larry. I know you're in there. What's the password? I really don't have time for this. Right. So just tell me the password. I don't know the password. Did you even tell me what it was? If you would like to reset your password, I can send you an authentication code to verify your identity. Fine. Be that way. I really should have done this a long time ago. Today it seems like everything needs a password, and keeping them all straight can be difficult. You need to have different passwords. Websites are constantly being hacked. Not to mention all of the requirements for passwords including special characters, length, and so on. These are my 5 tips for password management. First it is important to have a unique password for each website. At the very least do not share passwords across all types of websites. For example, if you use the same login credentials for that funny video website as your email, you could be feeding your email login information to themes, which of course means trouble for you. So your first rule is to use unique login information. Use special characters. Length of password is also important. Aim for between 8 to 10 characters. A phrase rather than a word could be helpful. Let's get back to that new account profile. When creating key accounts like email accounts and banking, enter all of your contact information, including alternate email address and a mobile phone number. This is so you can confirm your identity in the cases of password changes and so you can be contacted if a website is hacked. Remember that if you forget your password, most websites can reset it. So having an alternate email address or contact method would be very helpful down the line. Speaking of forgetting passwords, do not ever store passwords as a plain text file. Ever. What is a plain text file? A plain text file is something like a Word document or spreadsheet. If you store your passwords in this format without a password or encryption, you allow anyone with physical or remote access to your computer to get the information. If your internet browser offers to remember your passwords, make sure that you have a master password to unlock this feature each time you log on. Otherwise you are right back to having the information available to anyone with access to your computer. If you need to change all of your passwords for some reason, like if you believe your passwords may be compromised, I recommend this order. First change accounts with the most personal information about you, email, social media, and any place that may contain information about your family should be changed. This is because password clues can contain this information. Next update passwords for banking, tax filing, and work-related websites. Finally working your way through all of the other websites that you frequent. Finally you need to make your passwords useless to hackers. By make useless I mean use two-factor authentication wherever possible. Two-factor authentication can be done with your cell phone. Your phone can be sent via text message or in application a unique set of numbers that expires in a couple of seconds. This way even if your password is discovered, access becomes extremely difficult. There are password managers available to help you store, create, and keep track of your login information. Some are free, some are paid memberships. Check out our blog for a rundown on current recommendations. Yes. What is it Larry? Where did you go? I figured that I could wait you out much better from here. Because last time I checked, you didn't have a coffee machine in your office. Talk soon. Be sure to check out our blog. And check out our other social media channels. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. How? Did you get in?